Hi learners, welcome again on our productive platform. Uh, in the previous section, we learned number of concepts and implementation skills regarding type 2 hypervisor. Uh, we deploy virtual machines inside type 2 hypervisor and explore networking and connectivity options for virtualization industry. Uh, we also uh, implement storage options for our testing infrastructure as well. Uh, but unfortunately, there are a number of limitations with type 2 hypervisor and previously I also mentioned that type 2 hypervisor is completely designed for uh, testing purposes. So let's explore the few major limitations and then we will move with type 1 hypervisor concepts and implementation. So here we go. Here you can see that we have six major limitations regarding type 2 hypervisor. The first one is no direct hardware access capability. So this type of hypervisor is completely dependent on the operating system and without operating system, we cannot deploy type 2 hypervisor and this concept, uh, I discussed this concept in detail uh, in, in, in my previous sections. And, and the second one is a less number of VM support. So, uh, in the production infrastructure, you know that there are large number of VMs required. So, uh, Type 2 hypervisor has uh, its own limitation regarding uh, number of VM support. The third and the major issue is about security. There are very uh, less number of uh, security options available which we can deploy for our virtualization infrastructure. So that is one of the major re reasons due to which we are not going with the type 2 hypervisor for our production data center. The fourth one is, uh, is a limitation about the compute storage and networking options. Uh, with, with the type 2 hypervisor, we cannot deploy any kind of central storage options for our virtualization infrastructure. Uh, and uh, there is no clustering capability uh, with this type of hypervisor. And, and on number 5, uh, you can see there is no fault tolerance and high availability support with the type 2 hypervisor. And at last, there is no central administration and monitoring tools available with this type of hypervisor. So there are a number of other uh, limitations with the type 2 uh, hypervisor. Uh, we, we just uh, uh, highlight some of them uh, which are uh, measured regarding the uh, regarding our data center requirements or regarding uh, for our production infrastructure. So. Uh, let's explore uh, type 1 hypervisor and see what kind of advanced features available in type 1 hyper.